morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Um, we have got an amazing week lined up for you and we are starting off strong with an incredible uh, live launch for you guys. Um, but let us know what you got what you got up to, sorry, at the weekend. Did you do any crafting? Did you start thinking about Halloween? Um, as well. Have you started any spooky crafting? Please do let us know. Um, but like I say, we are starting the week nice and fresh. It is lovely outside and we have got a brand new launch for you as well. So stick with us and we'll be talking you through our brand new. And it's a concept card as well. So exciting. Um, before we go any further though, let's do everybody's introductions. My name is Rebecca and I'm going to be hosting this show for you today. In the producer station we have Emily. Good morning. Good morning. And in the demonstration station ready to put together these fabulous new concept cards, it's Natalie. Hello. Hi Nat. Hi. This is going to be a fun show. We love a concept card here at Hunky Dory. We do. We have done so many and they are all equally fabulous, aren't they? They are. They yeah. are all very different as well. This one is... Um, this one's nice because it's a new concept, really, yes, isn't it? So brand new. It's uh, it's very fun, and I'm I'm excited to show you guys how to do it, and then try something different with Ooh, it as well. Oh, how show. exciting! Stay tuned for that, then, guys. We've got some incredible demos for you. But yes, they are really different. Our concept cards take all the hard work of making fun and funky and different projects for you. We just literally do it all the hard work for you, and you can just have so much fun putting them. Together. Together. Um, but before we take a look at those, let's have a look at this week's Win It Weekly. Okay, what an incredible prize we have got for you this week. It is the one and only Prism Watercolour Pencils and handbook worth 39.98 with 48 of your fabulous watercolor pencils in this stylish wrap i think we need to get them out don't we let's have a look because they are incredible look at the color selection oh my goodness the blendability you get with these pencils the fact that they react to water so you can do all those watercolor finishes and in a really sort of little glamorous little wrap bag you get your zip um, compartment there for your pencil sharpener etc your erasers all of that kind of thing so so cool and a handbook absolutely chock-a-block with tips techniques and projects for you we've got three lucky winners this week and if you want to be in with the chance of winning this incredible prize all you need to do is like share and comment we've got a new question this week Nat very 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 fitting very fitting as our lovely Emily is finishing this week to go on her Australian adventure and we would like to know how long would it take to visit every beach in Australia wow is 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 it a 50 these are all really long I know is it A, 56 years, B, 7 years, or C, 29 years? Oh my goodness. Well, is this, is this on your, on is your bucket it, I know, list? I was just about to say, that, is this on your to-do list to visit every beach while you're there? Um, that is a long old time, isn't it? It is. It is. Even if you did, like, is this cons like consistent every, day. every single day yeah. you visit a beach? Yeah. Ooh, oh my goodness. That's a lot of beaches. That is a lot of beaches. I have no idea with that one. I don't. It's a good question. It's a great question. We anticipate the answer um, that we will have for you on Friday, but get your answers in. Oh, they're coming in already. Oh my goodness. Very split actually from the uh, first impressions. Um, but let's have a little look, shall we, at this amazing concept card. Aren't they beautiful? Would you like to make pop-up boxes just like these? You might have made them from scratch. They normally have just one layer, don't they? Yeah. They're normally obviously square shaped as yeah. well. They normally quite 
they're fun and they're not too tricky but they're very time consuming yes they are and they do not look as incredible with the double layer that these do with all the detail all the way around no need to worry about covering anything up they are fabulous and they've got everything picked out for you so they are so cohesive you're going to be able to make 12 so we're going to talk you through the kit it's 14.99 that price makes 12 and that works out at 125 a card at the 14.99 is that right em amazing but they're going to be even less than 14.99 and even less than 125 per card because look at the discounts that you're getting so when you sign in they're great aren't it's they so good you're knocking more than a pound off for our diamond members and even our fabulous club members are going to make a saving on these so let's talk you through what you get you are going to get all of your wonderful elements you're going to get your bases here so let's talk you through the kit shall we so we start off with these really fun element sheets and you can see the themes that we've jam-packed onto these we've got our little space theme I here love that one i love this one it's so cute isn't it with the little planets we've got the little alien in his spaceship the two astronauts there obviously the moon and the planet satellites everything then we go down to our sort of birthday theme where we've obviously got balloons party hats presents cupcakes and then we have our fabulous um, kind of honeybee theme so we've got these beautiful jars of honey and we've got our wonderful um, black and yellow bees there just nestling amongst the flowers getting that sweet nectar they're so pretty aren't they and we've got little ladybugs in there as well so 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 sweet gorgeous floral detailing throughout also these are foiled as well so they've just An got absolute that absolute dream aren't they they've you just can got... use these for so many different things as well oh definitely yeah you can pop these onto your cards and your boxes um as you can see by this oh, one no. it's here they pop out perfectly <laughs> they just pop out so easily they're all die cut for you to just pop out really easily um so you get obviously multiples of those as well and they are also they're not white on the back as well so if you are going to be turning that round or displaying it you're still going to get that wonderful colored detail for you then we move on to this one um with our beautiful bird's house bird's nest great for like a little happy new home memento you've obviously got the sweet little birds in there and then our planes how fabulous are those very, very funky very, very funky retro. very retro yeah they're definitely very vintage looking aren't they and then all of our winged friends here beautiful beautiful butterflies and dragonflies there as well we have got the little beetle and again your ladybird in there and they have got the most beautiful wing patterns on there gorgeous and again you're going to get multiples of those and then we move on to our beautiful bases here now these are all scored for you we've put the lines on with the tape we've got a space for you to put your message these are your tabs that you're going to be able to attach your acetate strips onto we'll get to those in a second we've got th this sheet is just jam-packed it's huge isn't it you absolutely and jam-packed i love the fact that you just need one sheet to make this yes you've just got your one sheet here with all of your elements to be able to make up your popper boxes absolutely. and then you've got obviously for your elements on the other sheet to dress them up it's amazing how many sentiments we sentiments get on here. yeah absolutely and the ease of the sort of tape um sections yeah so so handy absolutely a hundred percent we've got these beautiful foil triangles and again um, as you know and love with our concept cards, all the detail has been taken care of for you. So yeah, again, you're going to get these multiples of here. Um, these are just brilliant. This is obviously our space one in that navy with those stars. And then the sentiment shoot for the star just for you. Love you to the moon and back and happy birthday there as well. And then this one is our butterfly meadow. Obviously, if you want to mix and match the more universal patterns, you absolutely can. I love the artwork on this one. Stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. It's got that wildflower meadow there. Absolutely beautiful. Again, a mixture of sentiments. Again, you could be using those as your elements or you could pop them straight on the front and back. Whatever you want to do with them, they are up to you. They are your projects. You can dress them up as you wish. We've got this beautiful kind of wood grain effect with those gorgeous pink roses there as well that goes really nicely with that birdhouse and bird's nest themed 
um, concept card and as well we have our clouds so it's just going to look so perfect with those planes just bursting out of the skies absolutely gorgeous we've got adventure awaits across the miles happy birthday and just for you on that one absolutely beautiful they're so 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 much fun to put together as well natalie is going to show us how and we also have our little honeybee one in that bright yellow with that honeycomb texture as well we've got just for you thank you for being there buzzing by to say hi and happy birthday absolutely gorgeous you do also get your acetate um which is a sheet of our acetate here mm -hmm. one 220 sorry one times 220 micron acetate sheet so this is going to be perfect for your strips you can cut them into whatever size and thickness you want um have them really high and tall whatever you like and they do also fold flat if i just grab this one here our cute little space one they fold completely flat and they'll go into your um, A6 envelopes for you. How cute is that? It's absolutely awesome, isn't it? Absolutely. Imagine getting that through the post it's and it so just burst sweet. into life. It's so sweet. And I think these are the best type of cards for all of those um, younger yes. uh, generations as well. Because we all love something that's absolutely. kinetic. We all love something that's fun. Yeah. Um, so especially this one with your space themed, your aeroplanes, uh, the birthday balloons they are going to be loved by everyone. Absolutely, yeah. And obviously you can rearrange these balloons into bunches or mm -hmm. piles of presents. Again, you can have that little bit of a wobble on there if you want to. And again, this is our other one as well that I showed you first, the gorgeous little birdhouse one. Absolutely so, so sweet. Obviously you've got the matching sentiments throughout there as well. We've got one on that strip there, one on the front. Just to dress it up, you can obviously add your ribbons, your gemstones, any extra bits and pieces. You also get the photographic instructions, but we, we are going to see them being made, aren't we now? We are, so I'm going to show you with your instructions how to make them up. So we've got your instructions here and we're going to follow those. And um, it says to start off by taking the two largest pieces out. So we have already done that. And then we are going to take these. So we're going to take these along the tab. So there is one at the very back here. Let me just get my craft knife. And then there is one at the front here as well. So we're just gonna take those tabs. Then you can see you've got these spaces here to add your tape to as well. So I am gonna take these individually. So just add in our tape onto that side and over onto here. And then we're gonna flip it over because there is two more elements on here that we're gonna add our tape to as well. Cool. So just going in and adding our tape onto here. You can just add one piece of tape across if you want to. I'm just going to add two because these are two sort of separate pieces that we're going to put together here. So then it says you want to slot the two sections um, together. So before we do that, what I would like to do is I like to make sure all of my folds are creased. So let's just go over all of our score lines um, in here to make sure that these are creased because that is going to help us with our movement. I'm going to fold back all of those sort of top panel pieces like so. And let's do that again. So you want to fold this bit. This bit here is actually scored a little bit. So you don't need to fold that um, fully uh, because it is going to sort of hold, but it's completely up to you. No matter how you do it, it is going to fit really nicely. Yeah, in definitely. There. So let's fold those pieces together. And then you can see here, you've got the piece in the middle that has a slot at the top. And then you have a piece on this side that has the slot on the bottom. So we are just going to pop those pieces together and sort of slide them into one another. And that is going to create your sort of sections here. So you can see this is giving you that back panel and then that is also giving you that front panel as well. So just bend those pieces now into shape you've got those designs and then you can see where your tape is on each of them so for the next bit what we're going to do is we are going to pop these pieces together so we've got our high tech tape on there ready to go and you are going to get four little panels like this you've got two large ones and you've got two small ones so let's start off with the middle section and i'm just going to take off my tape here and i'm going to line them up so starting with the smallest one we're gonna place that into that space here, like so. And then I'm gonna take a larger piece and I'm gonna repeat that process. So just straight onto that space there. And then let's go into the other side. Oops, 
take our tape off and we're going to stick those in place so just bending that around yeah that's going to stick there and then your other one as well it gives you a really nice spacing within yeah. here when you do that so just make sure that that is nice and tight and you can see there how well that's going to fold flat as well so repeat that process on the um, second uh, side of your little boxes this time I think you go the other way though don't you Becca um yeah because uh, that is going to go this way so I want my boxes no I can do it that yeah, the way. same way yeah same way so we're going to go smallest piece that way and then our largest piece is going to go on here and then again just take off your back in and we are going to put the largest piece in that space there and then your smaller piece is going to go on there as well so you've got again those really nice boxes and this is where now you can sort of bring all of your elements together yeah. so I'm gonna take the back uh, tape off my back panel and we'll just wedge this together here that creates that gorgeous shape for you and then again we are going to bend our front panels and let's just take the tape I think I put the tape on the wrong side of that one actually because we want to hide that so let's just see if I can remove this fully because we want to pop that on the other side I'll just take that piece off there and because it's um because this is sort of made from our incredible adorable scorable it is as well it has that fabulous structure so if you want to keep it mm -hmm. as a little decor piece or you know just a little a nice little memento yeah a little memento like yeah it's gonna it's gonna stand the test of time for sure so we're now gonna stick these two pieces together like so so now you can see you've got your gorgeous square boxes which you can make sure all fold flat beautifully um, and they've got those little elements into it so then on your little sheet you've got these fantastic triangles I'm going to bring these in and these are to dress up these panels here so this is a choice of whether you want to add these in or not yeah um, completely down to you they are all the same size which is super handy because um, it's not like only certain elements fit on one place they'll all fit no matter where you pop them so just removing all of those out and I'm going to go in with my construction glue for this because it's going to allow me to pop these on super super speedy so taking all of those out I'm going to go with my construction glue and I'm going to go straight onto these elements here again you could use tape you could use your purple glue yeah I'm not putting a lot of glue on because I don't want uh, I want to sort of save my drying time with this so let's pop these on here it is looks super fabulous when you add these on though they look so fancy they do don't they so just scooting those on there now and we'll leave that to dry because we are going to do the next sort of section while I these are drying I was also talking to um uh, well it was uh, of like dawn design to these and I was chatting to Alan about this as well when we were organizing like the hand photography and things and um, Alan and Dawn actually said these foil triangles were included simply because we had the spare space and we didn't want it to go we to waste. We didn't want it to go to waste. Um, we never want things to go to waste here, do we? No, so. that's it. And if we can give you that little bit extra we, where we can, we absolutely always do it so. It just adds so much to the card as well because it makes it look so much more luxurious i mean you've got that double-sided effect here so you could alternate you could have sort of like just these two sections being um in this gorgeous gold it's completely up to you so leave last one on here now hopefully you're all following this because i am i am slowing this down for you so we all get um or get the know-how absolutely and we've can... got our sentiments so let's go for i'm gonna go for happy birthday yeah I'm going to go with just for you as well because we're going to pop those on our pieces. So I have already cut down my pieces of acetate. Now, um, Becca found that the best size for this was three quarters of an inch wide. So it's up to you how you want to cut them down. Obviously, try and test that yourself because um, that is going to give you the best effect. So let's pop out these pieces. I've got these gorgeous sort of floral bits that I want to go in the back. And then I've obviously got my pieces with the gorgeous hoodie on. 
They're so sweet, aren't and they? And then, of course, we've got these bees, which we could just pop these bees on the outside of yeah, our cool. the panel as well. I might be doing some of that. So let's take those out. I've got another sort of like stack here. I don't know if I want to use all my elements. And of course, it's completely up to you how much you use, how much you don't use. Um, I'm going to go in with my fantastic glue dots oh, for this. Oh, yeah. These are super, super handy. And let's just pop that to one side. I'm going to pop in my glue dot on here, and then I'm going to stick this on my panel, making sure that I've got enough sort of acetate on the back of there. So we'll keep doing this with some of our pieces because obviously we're not going to use everything we've got here. But let's go in with that one. And then I'm going to come back to uh, these panels because we're obviously going to cut into some of these. So for my back panels, I want quite a lot of height yep. so I can work out where all my bits and pieces are going. So let's start with these ones now. And I would suggest sort of popping them into the base of your panel. I'm actually going to pop this one on here, I think seeing sort of how high you want it to be i'm thinking that's a really good height there yeah and then with if i fold this flat i can trim that with my scissors straight away and then let's go in with a glue dot so i'm going to pop my glue dot on the back of here and the rest is really all down to you and how you want to pop your little pieces in. If you want to, you might want to add all of your acetate panels first and then go in. I think it's easier to do your panels first and then all of your elements because you can you can gauge the height then yeah. and you can work out where you want these pieces to go. So this really large piece is going to go behind here and I want that to be a little bit taller, but obviously if you're popping these into your um, envelopes as well, you wanna make sure that they're gonna fit quite nicely. So be aware of all of those things. Um, of course, if you've got some DL envelopes, you can make these panels as big as you want them to be. Oh, of course. And then it's just a process of repeating this now and adding all of your panels in until you are happy with how this is looking. So another um, panel here I'm just going to add my glue dot to that and then we're going to place that behind and over to this side your glue dots are really good for this as well absolutely because and they give you the the security that you need yeah. like as in um, making sure that that's that's super stuck down um, but they're just a lot more easier to handle than sort of tape yeah. um, when you're adding all of your panels together. So I've got another little bit. I'm going to pop this on the back, the front of here. And then I've got some more of my halves that I've cut down that I can use for my bees and my honey. So I think I'm just going to put one honey pot in. Yeah. So again, we'll just add that on there. So one honey pot. I'm going to go for a B, I think. So cute. So let's add that in. And then all these other elements we can be keeping in our super storage cases. Yeah, of course. And saving to use um, with another project. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, honey they're so good. Um, and then I'm going to use my bees on the outside edges as well, I think. So would I put, let's pop these together. So again, just getting your glue dots ready. And I think we're going to go, these ones are a little bit shorter, so it's completely, I think that's about right. So let's just nice. pop that on that side where I want that to be. Let's go a little bit further back so it's in line with that. Just adding these in now till you're happy Oh yeah, with definitely. all of your layers, all of your bits and pieces. We've got one more floral element that I want to add in at the back as well so let's just measure that one but look how well this is coming together it already. looks amazing like it's dressing so it up is cool isn't it yeah dressing it up is definitely the best part viv says what a fantastically different box Catherine jones says love these you could even add photos as well to make it really personalized a hundred percent you know we're giving you the the incredible technology here um, which is so easy to put together. You saw how easy that was in that demonstration. Um, 
So we're giving you all of those skills. It's then down to you how you put the rest of this together. So um, a little B I'm going to add to the front. I think I'm going to add that quite short. So let's just stick that sort of in the middle. And then I can go in and place that in the center there. And then of course I've got my other bee, so if I wanted to, I can go back in at any time yeah. and add more of those. I'm just gonna go in with these sort of smaller ones here and I'm gonna get a tiny little, um, a tiny, tiny little foam pad. Just stick those onto there and then I'll get some more of our sort of biggest bigger ones for our sentiments so I'm going in with my happy birthday on the front and then my just for you I'm actually going to place this on the back in one of these corners because obviously you've got that gorgeous space yeah. to write your message so just having that on there our birthday can go across here so happy birthday amazing and then our little bees that we've got left over of course if you want to you can add them scattered into your gorgeous design i'm just going to place them along different panels on the outside edge just to dress that up even further Definitely. or you could if you're happy with how much dimension you've got here you could then just add these bits and pieces on top of your designs as well so you've got this beautiful Look image that. all of these bits and pieces laid in there gorgeously and i mean that gold <gasps> foiling i know that back is just stunning and it folds flat it folds completely flat it's absolutely incredible such a magnificent shape as well completely different from anything you would have seen in terms of pop-up boxes yeah um, Dawn's done a fantastic job of putting this concept card together and i think it's good for that price one pound 25 a card uh, yeah and it's not going to be that for you i was going to say sign in it's absolutely free yep or if you're a diamond member it's going to come down even more it's so incredible oh they are fantastic so incredible. everybody is loving this faye beresford says she's going to have to rewatch this demo later that's absolutely fine you can that's do what we're here for that is why we are here myra says lovely concept card cute little honey pot and bees Viv Williams says, absolutely love this box. Claire says, love these so different. Janie Dunk, gorgeous card. I've ordered them. I hope I can follow the instructions, lol. You definitely can, you Janie. Can, you can. You'll be fine. Hopefully you love them as much as we do. Um, thank you for that demo, Nat. You're that welcome. was so easy to follow. Um, okay, we're gonna take you through some of our other concept cards that we have very recently launched. These, I just think are perfect for the autumn and early winter nights. How gorgeous are these under the stars kit? One of my favorite collections. Look at these animals just under the stars absolutely beautiful they are an easel card you don't have to worry about absolutely anything you even get your little space on the bottom to pop look at him oh my goodness absolutely jam-packed full of decoupage layers gorgeous toppers sentiments completely beautifully decorated card base as well and again they are just 14.99 for 12 so again that is that incredible price of 125 per card and like natalie said that's the most you're going to pay yeah um, and, and as well with this it's not like we're saying that's how much it's going to be but then you're going to need this and you're going to need that and you're yeah. going to need this the only thing you need is foam pads absolutely foam just, pads and tape which we all have in our stash just add adhesive you've got your card your envelope Look sorted as well so we don't need to think about envelopes no of course we not are, everything is included in the concept card and i think that's why it's one of people's favorites absolutely and this is why we do so many of them mm -hmm. um, really nice to make into alternative projects as well this one oh, obviously 100%. we've got the reverse easel very very simply just by mountain and valley folding it in a different way we've got this wonderful gatefold with that gorgeous romantic swan image there absolutely beautiful again no extra stash added other than your adhesive for these and um, we've got this wonderful this is amazing this stepper this card is here cool, isn't it i remember watching Anne marie put this together oh wow 
that is so lovely and obviously all of those sides are decorated as well absolutely beautiful this is one you absolutely need 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 in your life i'll talk you through the kit now that we've seen those beautiful card models um, but again it is so easy to put together um gorgeous um instruction sheet there with all of that inspiration on obviously all your envelopes as well most of our concept if not all contain envelopes to put your projects in um, which is so great like you say you just don't have to think about any you don't have to think about a thing um, most of these you just simply add your adhesive um, and again then we've got your bases here completely printed and patterned for you so again there's no white space to worry about you get those gorgeous sentiments there as well and again we don't just put one on thinking you'll want a thank you card we've put best wishes on there we put lots of love we give you options and choice here we don't let any of that space go to waste gorgeous designs here i love this green one as well really nice mossy green there we've got especially for you handmade for someone special and home sweet home Again, you're going to get multiples of those designs. That's that gorgeous daisy one. Daisy's in the black. That is so fancy. It's very so autumnal in that colour. Very way. autumnal. Again, you've got the sort of like animal prints throughout here. Gorgeous, gorgeous kit. Um, that navy and blue one that goes with the swans. Obviously, you can see those on the labels. You're so special. Happy anniversary. And obviously, your handmade just to say label as well. You could be popping on the back of your card. Um, absolutely love it when people put those handmade for you labels on the back it's it, very sweet isn't it very very sweet it finishes it off in such a lovely way yeah definitely again we've got this gorgeous sort of brown design there really textured um, designs here as well and then we get our toppers here as well so we've got the gorgeous little field mouse and the uh, the wonderful swan there in the moonlight and then we've got foiled sentiments as well these are designed to be stoppers um, for your easels but again super super flexible so you can use them any way you choose to again we've got our, our little sleepy fox and our little gorgeous gorgeous badger again look at the foiling on that it's absolutely incredible um, again your sentiments on here hope you have a day as fantastic as you and sending wishes for a beautiful birthday um, and again we have our other animals here we've got our hedgehog and our wonderful gorgeous gorgeous red squirrel there as well sending love and hedge hugs and relax and enjoy your special day and then we've not even stopped there we've got decoupage layers on here every single layer is foiled so if you want to add them all you're absolutely more than welcome to if you want to just add one or two that is also fine as well because every single layer has that ink not just a bit it has a lot a of lot. gorgeous foiling gorgeous a lot of foiling on here absolutely they are just incredible so 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 luxurious there as well and we are going to show you our absolute one of our best ever selling concept cards it is our floral archway concept card kit and um, we have um we have a lot of love for this one here and it is incredible look at the dimension that you're getting look at that incredible detail again it's sort of a diorama style card but to get it with that shape and that level of detail is very very difficult to do so again we have taken all of that hard work out of there for you and put it together in a really fun and inspirational kit um, so we've got as is with those gorgeous layers you've got that acetate that topper again decoupage layers the acetate is cut down for you as well so you yes it is have to think about that with this one. absolutely and it's obviously all arched for yeah. you with the tabs yes yeah, so so easy and again we've got some really nice alternative projects with this that fabulous art shape box by our lovely Jane there combining some elements from her paper craft stash um, but I think that's just the pack this foiled cardstock around it and some Miri and again that just makes the most fabulous um, gift box again with that topper as well um, and again we've got another one with that beautiful sort of as is um, kind of style there for you just as is simple simple really really nice so again I'll talk you through the kit very quickly and then we're going to go straight back to the demonstration station so again if you've never seen these um, they are well worth adding into your basket again photographic instructions there for you and these are your card bases here 
Um, so you get the front and back. The back has that gorgeous panel for your message. And then the front, again, this is all die cut for you. So you would just simply pop that middle out there for you. Again, a choice of sentiments and extra button toppers and your decoupage layers, which just apply to your topper so, so perfectly. And again, we've got them in such stunning colorways. We've got this beautiful blue there for you uh, we've got the wonderful sort of lilac blossoms that again look at the foiling on that it's stunning absolutely incredible um we've got the the wonderful sort of like pink peony there as well so so gorgeous again perfect for like weddings and anniversaries those really special occasions and we've got the beautiful sort of peach rose and the dahlia there stunning absolutely stunning blows me away this this is what natalie was saying all of your acetate is cut down for you so these are simply just pop out add your tape and away you go so you get one for every single card in there and again, they're your multiples there. So you get four different designs, four really pretty designs. You get the peach, the sort of rose pink, the lilac, and that beautiful blue. Again, jam-packed with sentiments and extras there for you to have a play. Um, I love those cards. They're so, so good, aren't they? Um, but we are going to go back over to the demonstration station, aren't we now? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to actually do um, a demo with this card in particular. Yeah. So I'm, I've chosen to use the gorgeous squirrel. Yeah. So I've got the design here. I've got my sentiments ready for when I want to make this. But I'm actually going to do something a bit different here by just adding a couple of score lines in. So I'm going to take out my main element like so and we are going to build up this little guy so i've added all of my foam pads onto here just to speed through this demo so we can fit another one in nice um i'm gonna add these layers onto here now and this is so easy to do with all of your bits and pieces so we'll just layer up our beautiful design and they're really really chunky so for anyone who loves decoupage but sometimes i've popped that one on the wrong way this one's got its little hand on so let's just go straight on with that one anyone who struggles with decoupage um because of the smaller elements this is fantastic because they are all quite chunky so super easy for you to use yeah. so um and takes no time at all to pop them all together really um, oh well these are the kind there. of cards that you can just make in minutes you know if you've forgotten someone's birthday you'd never guess with how beautiful these are but they still give you all that time so my decoupage is ready to go my card is here yeah i'm gonna bring you my scoreboard and this is already scored for you so obviously if you're going to create the easel you would just fold these up this way we're going to create an easel but in a kind of different way so i'm just going to line this up here onto my scoreboard i'm kind of just going to put it at two and a half where the score line is um, and then i'm also going to score it at three and i'm going to score it at two so that is going to create me a little bit of a bigger panel here so if i fold those areas down now now i have um, a little bit of a space in this section uh, because we're going to pop um, our element onto here Love so that. i'm going to bring in my handmade with lots of love and let me just see if i can fit this on here because this is going to act as a stopper but a stopper in a different kind of way because it's going to stop this element here from moving so let me just bring that in because we are going to pop our foam pads on there um, we've got that. I've also got thank you very much because we've got these ones, but I do think that these are going to be a little bit long to fit in this space because you can see you can get it on. I might pop it on and I might trim it actually. So let's just see if we've got any long strip foam pads. I've popped all of my foam pads are on my desk because I was doing some decollage for a Marie. On oh Friday. yeah, of course. So mine are still all out on my desk and I haven't even thought about popping them back in. So I'm just going to double up my foam pads on here and I don't want to go over that sort of three quarter mark. So just pop in these together. That's going to make it sort of four mil. So it's going to hold a bit more on there. And then if I bring this together, pop that on there like so. And then that will hold in that little gap there so we can turn this over and just trim that element away so you've got relax and enjoy your special day i just make sure that this 
a nice Cute, finish. Yeah, it's really burnished. That will hold really nice and flat on there. And then this panel is going to fit on the front of my card oh, like so. Good. So, so let me go in again. I'll just trim these foam pads down. And I want to just layer those across here. This is also going to help to add a bit of stability because, of course, we had an area yeah. here that had a score line from our original element. So just go in, make sure you've got your foam pad on those bits. And then we're going to stick this nice and straight on that element there. Love that. I'm going to go in with another of my toppers. So let's go in with... Um, I've got relax and enjoy your special day. I'm going to put spe sending best wishes and we're also going to add in that handmade, um, handmade with lots of love. So let's get our sort of smaller foam pads and I can pop that one just in the bottom corner here. And then on the reverse, I'm going to put my handmade with love. Now, the only thing about this is that your squirrel is sort of downwards, sort of asleep on there, which isn't a massive issue. Um, but that is obviously going to change the placement of that design. Yeah, but I think it looks quite cute there though. Like I think it's it just, just falling like asleep on, the, on just, the tree trunk. It's just hanging off there. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll move this out of the way. And then we can pop this down on our card. So oh. you've got that gorgeous design now with that Love image that. sort of popping out of your card. Kind of like a, a how a fold back would look, but yeah. because we folded it, onto itself it also helps to hold it um in place as well absolutely i just love that it's so cool it's like a big column isn't it yeah gorgeous thank you so much you're for welcome that. um absolutely gorgeous if you've got that under the stars concept kit and you're looking for some alternative ideas that are still nice and quick and easy i think that is a perfect make uh, but it is still available it is 14.99 125 a card and like i say that is before you're signing in uh, so you can shop online for that at hunkydorycrafts.co.uk um okay we're going to repeat the win it weekly and then it is time to recap and get squeeze our last demo in for you um, but our win it weekly this week is to win these incredible watercolor pencils um, and your accompanying handbook as well your prison world of color volume two and we would like to know um, in preparation for Emily to say goodbye and visit Australia we would like to know how long would it take to visit every beach in Australia is it a 56 years b seven years or c 29 years they are they, there is years. lots of guesses lots and lots of guesses I think you've set everyone a nice challenge in last question Emily I love this um, let us know we've got a few for 29 we've got some for 56 who knows who knows okay um, so much love for Nat's demo as well thank you guys um, so we are going to recap our brand new live launch which is our wonderful today brand new today um, pop up boxes concept kit we saw that first demonstration from Natalie with the gorgeous kind of honeybee pop-up box card there for you um, and again they just make the most incredible boxes I'll show you the other ones that we didn't show in the first part of the show this one is the butterfly one and again folds just completely flat so so nice again you can dress it up however you like use as many or as few elements as you like really jam pack them in pop them anywhere again you could be decorating the, these panels as well and you get so much in and then our final one is the little retro planes here very vintage again perfect for like maybe a retirement or, or anything like that so gorgeous so again i'll talk you through the kit you do get your full instructions as well photographic and written and um, you get your acetate to make your strips which just holds all of your elements in place and make sure that they're not you know they just make it look so nice so effortless okay and then we get our elements in here so we've got the space theme the birthday theme and the honeybee theme on this one sheet as well um as all of your little 
extra details on there as well. We get this one with the birdhouse, the planes and those butterflies, dragonflies. Again, absolutely gorgeous level of detail here, jam packed for you. And then here we move on to our bases. So you're gonna get two of each. This one is the birthday one with those fabulous polka dots and the four sentiments at the bottom. They've also got your tabs and foil triangles on for you as well. We've got that space theme that just goes with that astronaut and all the planets. We've got this wildflower meadow, again goes with your butterflies there as well but as you as you know as you know you can um, mix and match these to your heart's content we have our wonderful wood grain there design with those pink floral details our sky there as well and this was the one that natalie showed us at the beginning that wonderful honeycomb um buzzy bee themed one there as well again love all the sentiments as well and if there's any leftover elements you can simply pop them into a storage box and use them on other projects they are fantastic the team have popped the link in the description box for you and the comments um, so you can shop online for these they will be on the website as well just 14.99 um, but if you are a club member it is 14.24 and a diamond member 13.49 final thing is you get all of these envelopes to just simply pop them in for you so they fold completely flat and as you can see that is going to fit in there absolutely no problem as well and there's even space if you want to add like a gift card or a little message in there as well there's going to be absolutely tons of room for those to completely fold flat down into those wonderful a6 envelopes um, but that is absolutely everything that i've got to show mm -hmm. you so we're going to squeeze one more demo in aren't we we now? are i'm going to do something a little bit different this time um so i'm using all of the elements that we've got the other thing i'm going to add is um some gold mirror and i'm going to use a sheet of um blue um paper from our color block patterns nice. from our bright selection so let's start off we're going to do a little bit of trimming away so i'm just going to take this tab off from here and then i'm also going to cut out our back panels uh, so i'm just going to take the top off this section just to give you a little bit more inspiration on how you could use these differently and i'm going to take off the top from our other panel here so we've got those elements straight away and then i'm going to fold these pieces now this section here that doesn't have a score line we are just going to fold that back and that will fold really nicely because of course you've got that um element in there you can go in with your score um scoreboard if you want to but we're just going to create this gorgeous sort of uh waterfall and we're going to do both of those to create like a gatefold card with nice this one. so let's fold this back again and then we're going to fold it in so those two bits will meet and we'll sort out those top panels in a second so let's go in with our tape and again you're just going to place that across the panel here to hide all of the workings and we're going to stick that as you would do to the back section so, so clever. let's stick that onto there like so you could do this in two different ways now looking at this because yeah. you could also and i might actually switch it out have, have it, it this that way. way so you've got that detail in Ooh, yeah. there and what we're going to do is we're just going to cover this back panel save our miri because originally i was gonna mm, no but you would need a space to write your message let's do it the way i was going to do it okay so these panels here um, come to just over it's two notches over three and a half so we are going to cut this little piece here to that size um, this is four by four so let's just go to two um, let's go to I'm going to go to uh, three and a half so it's slightly smaller so I can stick that down and then what I'm going to do is place that in line where it wants to go and I'm just going to flip it over and draw with my pencil just across the edge here and then i can use my trimmer or i can use my scissors i'm going to go with my scissors and just cut away that section just curving that top piece a little bit so you've got a panel now that will fit in here and of course we are going to create a little mat and layer for this so we're not going to go too straight 
we're not going to go all the way to the top I'm just going to keep that off there and then just mark yeah. on the bottom where you want that to be so I'll just trim that away and then I'm going to recreate that in my blue so just using this as a handy guide now I know that that was three and a half so if I go two below the three and a half on there and then before I cut it out I'm just going to line this up onto here give myself a bit more actually let's just do it it's always better to do it this way because then we're not going to make any mistakes so just draw that line across the outside because what you can do, what you could do is you could line it up a little bit further yeah and then you're only cutting this top bit but that also might move um, and you might not get the the spacing that you want so if you keep it like this and do it to the same length yeah and then go on top oh and then you can just trim away and then you can you? just trim away and you know that your mats and layers will look really really nice on there um, once you've done that so just taking that extra bit of precaution means that we're not wasting all of these pieces so I'm going to stick this onto here I'm going to use some tape to do that I always like to use tape when it comes to Miri me too and then I'm going to go in and stick this onto my middle I'm, mm, I'm not going to stick it on just yet because we're going to add some of our panels to this so popping that on there and then you have these two pieces that don't have um, designs on so I know I want one of my aeroplanes and we can stick these on and then we can trim them yeah. away as well which is really really nice so I'm going to stick that on there and I'm also going to go go up a little bit more oh nice our happy birthday in there and then I do have I can move this in and we can trim that off and then let's go in with another aeroplane up here and I'll stick that one on as well so I'm gonna go in with um, glue this time so I've got a little bit of movement and also because I want them to be flat because we're creating a gatefold you don't want to have too much um, in the way oh yeah because this is gonna be your center panel this so you is gonna be to close. the inside of my card so it's gonna reveal this really nice design on here so you wanna you want the space basically yeah definitely oh this is gonna be so much fun adding all of these in remember you don't want to add glue to all of this because you are going to be cutting some of this away and it's just going to get a little bit messy so you just want to pop the glue on those elements and then this of course so it stands out we will um, add our amazing panels onto there so happy birthday that's going to fit on there that's going to keep that nice and tight just making sure it's in the middle because it was just a little bit off there yeah and then again just holding because these are still a bit wet that glue not drying just hold them and we'll just trim along those panels so cool just take those off there and then this can go in the center of our card so now we'll pop it on if we'd have popped it on before then it wouldn't have given me much space to add all of those no. little images in so that's the reason why we just left that a little bit so i'm going to stick that into this middle section which is going to allow us to hide those um sort of tape designs that's so cool i'm going to fold this in the way it's going to go and then you can pop these out because that is going to go in and then that one is going to go out so we've got those designs ready to go we can add our gold bits on now and we're also going to use the rest of the airplanes too so don't worry about that i'm oh, going to just keep make sure i've got all of those ready to go and now let's add these in before we go any further so pop in these on again i'm going to use construction glue for this let's just go over all of these panels first keeping your nozzle really tight to your cardstock means that you're going to get just enough glue on those um, pieces and you're not going to have too much excess that's sort of going to come out of the design on here it's really clever it is so clever 
and it's just going to elevate the look of your card having these gold pieces on so yeah absolutely like that. I think I am going to pop some of my aeroplanes on some of the acetate as well okay yeah cool so that they sort of like fl are flying out of the card that is going to look so cool I love that let's pop your panels on we'll give that a little bit of time to dry so my gatefold is going to now come together like this and my panels once that has folded will all come this oh this way around just need to give it that little bit more time i'm going to stick um these other bits in now so i want to because i have some space i want to still have these designs sort of going over because even though it's going to open if i just add this on yeah and if i go in with my oh, tape yeah absolutely and it's still going to open up quite nicely so that can fit on there try and fill as much space as possible with our gorgeous aeroplanes they're beautiful aren't they um, adventure awaits is going to be the sentiment i use on the very front of this don't know if i can fit another aeroplane on the front let's just see if that will oh i do have the space oh, so let's bit, go in bit. with my foam pad so it stands quite proud and that can fit across here because obviously that'll help us keep my gatefold together as well having these little panels absolutely yeah yeah look at the way they tuck there they that's so cute on each other adventure weights can go in here so i'll just again i'm going to go in with foam pads just because it's a sentiment you always like to have it sort of really proud and if you have any um ribbon or anything like that of course you can pop that in place just these are moving a little bit so just making sure that is sticking where i want it to go and then i have two airplanes still yeah there's so, so much isn't there i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna make myself a little panel i'm gonna make myself two panels because i'm gonna trim this in half so just going to fold that at the top pop that on there and then these are going to fit in this little section behind and sort of pop out of our card so i want my glue dots for that we're going to pop two on the very top with our aeroplanes in so let's go in on here Oh, I think everybody wants this kit. Karen said, the Queen song, I want it all springs to mind. I want it all and I want it now. That's very true. So, so true. You can't not. Um, Viv wants this kit just for these planes. They're awesome. They are really, really cool, aren't they? I think I might go one in here. I wonder if I've got a just little tuck bit it of in space there. to tuck that in. I'm going to cut it down and then just wedge that in there. There is there we go and just squeeze that in awesome when the the tape is still lifted a little bit and then this one is going to go in here so that when it's closed you've got quite a bit of dimension so that can just go on with a little bit of tape yeah jackie says this is such a lovely kit patricia says love your demos nat hide that in there and then again, just this is just being a little bit pesky because it's still not dry. But once those are dry, then we can fold oh, up our card. That looks so good. So you've got this really nice gatefold. Oh, I've got my little aeroplane stuck. One minute. Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Just oh. folding that in there. You can tuck it into that little thing as well to help it keep shut. So you've got all your little designs on here and then you can fold that out you reveal all of those different envelopes and your happy birthday sentiment that is so there you go there's loads of amazing fun ways in which you can use this kit but i just think it looks awesome doesn't it oh my god it makes me want that, that demo just makes me want to make that card it's look so how cool. good that is it's so cool so so cool thank you so much i feel like your nephew would love that card he would he loves his planes he does um okay that's it time to finish for 
our show today, but we are treating you to some more hunky dory fun over on Hobby Maker today at one, three, four, and five. Wow, my goodness. She's busy. She is busy. Anne Maria has got a jam packed day at Hobby Maker for you. She is going to give you, oh my gosh, I've just read what she's got on the show. A first look at the incredible Into the Wild decollage collection. Brand. Trust me, it's stunning brand new decolage brand new decolage we haven't had decolage since christmas i so. know it's been a while mm. it's a good one though it's great do not miss more inspiration with these fabulous pop-up boxes are our wonderful new concept cards and the back in stock back in stock people advent pad and die so do not miss those shows one three four and five Next up on Hunky Dory TV is Technique Tuesday. Natalie is going to be back and Anne-Marie is going to be in the um, studio too with you guys. So join us for that Technique Tuesday at 10 a.m. tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining us and we hope you have a lovely rest of your Tuesday.